The WordPress 4.9.8 update dropped yesterday, August 2nd. This is not the official Gutenberg update, but when people update their sites, there is going to be a notification that says they can install the Gutenberg plugin and play around with Gutenberg. So if you have clients that mess around in their websites, you might want to tell them if they install that and activate that plugin, there's going to be a drastic change to their page builders or tell them to not do it right now. Do it on a development site, not on their production sites, which I recommend anyway, until people have kind of figured out how to use Gutenberg. But this is a great opportunity for people to play around with it. And you don't have to use the beta release like I showed you a little while ago. You can use your regular WordPress release because now this plugin comes with that. What's interesting is they also give you the option to install a plugin that will keep the classic editor. Maybe that will stay for WordPress 5, the official Gutenberg release, I don't know. But there is another plugin that I show you in this tutorial that is called Disable Gutenberg. And that will hopefully, if you want this, disable Gutenberg once WordPress 5 drops. We don't know yet, we'll have to wait and see when it does drop, if this plugin still works. But either way, we're getting started on this tutorial right now. But either way, we're getting started on this tutorial right now. Hey, what's up guys? It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here and you like WordPress, you like learning tips and tricks and getting better at it, click the subscribe button, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, check out our Facebook group, link to down below, where we talk WordPress, help each other with WordPress, and all around just get better at WordPress. And with that out of the way, let's head in this Gutenberg screen capture. I'll see you there. So the time has come, my friends. WordPress is getting ready to launch WordPress 5, the Gutenberg update. And I know this because today they released an update that is now introducing Gutenberg to the masses, to a public facing website, to anybody who updates WordPress to 4.9.8, which we're gonna do right now by clicking on this please update now button. And then on this big blue update now button right here, after the update's complete, you'll be sent to the page like this, which gives some more information about what's been released, including 46 bug fixes. But the most interesting thing is if you go back to the dashboard, and what we see is this notification that Gutenberg is coming soon. It doesn't say it right in the top, but it says coming soon and Gutenberg. And here we can actually test out the editor on our live websites. I recommend you do it on a test site or a staging site, not on your live site, but we can install Gutenberg. Anybody can do it now without using beta WordPress. Just click on install Gutenberg and start trying it out. I have a tutorial that I've linked to up above where I go through Gutenberg and all the blocks and how it all works. So check out that tutorial if you want a run through of Gutenberg. But I want to point out something else that's interesting right here. We have this notification here or this little paragraph saying if we want to stick with the classic editor, we can install the classic editor plugin. I find that interesting because uh, Gutenberg is coming. We know that. And there's always got to be progress forward. And it's about time that WordPress updated their interface, made it more drag and drop to compete with builders like Wix and other builders that are out there on the market. So why would they offer the option to go back to the classic editor? I think it's because there's a lot of pushback on this. There's a lot of people who are uncomfortable with moving to Gutenberg, and I'm a little bit as well. Any change is uncomfortable, but it is progress. It is the right move, I think. And it's a move forward in a better direction in regards to WordPress's competition and keeping WordPress viable long term. But what's interesting is for one, they're offering this classic editor option. It may not be there when version five comes around. When Gutenberg is in the core for update number five, WordPress five, then that may not be here. However, there is something else. If you go and Google disable Gutenberg, if you are vehemently against Gutenberg, you can then install this plugin, which will disable Gutenberg and bring back the classic editor. And this should work even when version five drops. I haven't confirmed that yet because version five hasn't dropped, so I can't confirm it. But it should work when version five drops. You should be able to stick with the classic editor. I don't think it's a great idea because things are gonna evolve, platforms are gonna evolve. We have to evolve with the times and move with those platforms. Something important to note is when you do install Gutenberg, which I'm gonna do right now, we have a couple options I haven't shown in previous videos because they weren't in previous videos. So I'm just gonna install Gutenberg right now and show that to you. And then we have to activate it, just like installing a regular plugin. And again, I recommend you do this on a test site, not on your live production site. So after installing it, we come to a page that looks like this. 
And we have the edit with Elementor, which is a page builder, as you know. So we can edit with the Gutenberg page builder, which you see here. Again, I linked to a video previously or earlier in this tutorial that goes over how you use the Gutenberg page builder on the blocks and things like that. What's new is if we go to all posts to see a list of all of our posts, the add new button now has this fancy pants down arrow. If you click on that, we can choose what to build the new page with. Elementor, Gutenberg, Classic Editor. I assume if I had other page builders installed. Actually, I think I do. Hang on. I have WP Bakery installed, but WP Bakery is not showing up on here. So clearly they have not tied in as well as Elementor has to the new Gutenberg update. But if you have Beaver Builder or Brizzy or Oxygen, they may be appearing here at the, in this dropdown. But either way, you can choose which page builder you want to use. The Classic Editor may be going away in version 5. I don't know. We'll see. This plugin right here may add it back. Again, I don't know. We'll see. We don't have version 5 yet, so I don't exactly know what's going to happen. But you have the choice of which page builder you want to build it with, Gutenberg or whatever other page builder you have. And there's going to be a lot more happening with these updates and changes, but this is definitely a signal that Gutenberg is coming very soon because now they're releasing this to anybody who wants to test it. Anybody in the general public who has a WordPress site that they update today, they can test out Gutenberg if they want to. So that's the whole story as we know it now. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Check out the private Facebook group and then check out one of these videos that popped up on the right-hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.